Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Look, we got surprise here. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. I am motivational speaker, certified life coach, and your spiritual advisor, Nayla Latrice. You all can book your one-on-one -on -one business and entrepreneur coaching, your readings, or other services that I offer down below in the description bar. Okay, so let's tap on into it. We have surprise here. So there's some type I heard popping up, okay, uh, 33 on the phone. Your ancestors could be popping up on you you know you could be getting a lot of downloads as well okay but um an unexpected turn can bring positive change be ready for change so it's giving me ex uh, expected energy expect this surprise even though it's a surprise and you may not even know if it's a money surprise a person a phone call um, a letter okay um something that's coming out of you know opportunities coming out of nowhere it could be an opportunity coming back around something you applied for a long time ago this could be uh, a person that you run into to, okay, this could be somebody doing nice something nice for you. This could be a download or an, or an idea that is going to make you money. <clears throat> okay, this could be somebody knocking at your door. Okay, um, something there's some type of surprise. You could be ordering, you know, let's say Amazon, and all of a sudden, you know, you get you get double or they they give you something extra. You know, that's happened to me um, as well before. You know, so there's some type of surprise, something that you're not expecting. No matter how big or small it is, when you begin to expect surprises throughout your day, hello, book your self development reads down below. Okay, this is for this whole reading is for. Uh, the purposes of self-mastery and helping you to grow and helping you to develop as a person, as an individual, right? But it's about you expecting surprises on a uh, on a daily basis, okay? Trusting and knowing that it can happen for you, that it does happen for you. Knowing that all things are always working in your favor. Comment that down below. Why are things always working in my favor? Because it is. When you have that mentality, then it's like no matter what you experience, you're going to see the positive side of it versus um, the, the negative. Or you're going to see the high vibrational side of it versus the low vibrational side so it's like which side are you on uh type of energy okay but yeah also spiritual work okay um spirit is uh reminding you to do your spiritual work or continue on the path of doing your spiritual work okay open your heart to a spiritual career and heal the human heart you are a light worker so i'm speaking to a light worker if you're tapped into this message you are a light worker you are a star seed okay i do have messages um, that i need to get out for the star seeds and light workers as well um but you guys are definitely here to raise the raise the vibration of the planet you guys are here to heal yourself your first mission in life the the the, the number one thing people want to know what their purpose is your purpose is healing yourself your purpose is that self-development work your purpose your number one purpose is self-mastery that is who you are that is what you are here um to 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 do to be able to focus on um raising your own vibration and as you continue to do the work to 333 on the phone there's something about threes okay but that spirituality that spiritual work that spiritual realm that 5d realm that you know the different dimensions but as you continue to work on yourself then you be naturally become that vessel that light to help others during their ascension and to help others grow okay uh not everyone is meant to be on that path all right as a light worker you you tell that to somebody they're like wait what what is what is that it's it's woo, woo to them you know um and i'm not even talking about even just reading tarot it, may, it ain't got nothing light worker and see um star seeds ain't got nothing to do with reading tarot you get what i'm saying um so a lot of your spiritual paths a lot of your spiritual gifts no matter if it's um, being a light worker in star seed, but yet you, you 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 may grid the earth, right? But maybe you don't read tarot. You you have other spiritual gifts. People still see you as weird or whatever the case may be. You know, you also could be a tarot reader, you know, or a seer. The seer is different than a tarot reader. You could be a tarot reader and a seer. You know, um, it just depends on uh, uh, your your spiritual ranking as well. In the in the ether is in the in the spiritual realm. I'll just keep it simple, right? Okay in the unseen realm 
All right, we have love affair and we have fertility. I heard something is ripe. Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's like you've been in a love affair with yourself is what I am picking up on. Again, that self-development work. And because of that, there's some type of surprise. Now, the surprise that is popping up, a whole person can change your life, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a, a person coming in um, with a work opportunity, whether it's a person coming in um, as a romantic person, as somebody coming in as a part of your soul tribe, right? Because um, you can have friends, but they may not necessarily, you know, um, be... Uh, necessarily, you know, that true, true soul, soul tribe, right? But whoever this person is, temporary, long term, okay, um, it was, it's like you, you are vibrating at the energy to attract um, this type of person, okay, or these type of people, all right? Um, the people that you're connecting with, they're on the same love frequency. They too have done the work. So when you all connect, this could be your home, some, you know, somebody that you connect with and it, it's it's the homie, so to speak. It's like y'all go, you, you guys attracted one another. It's like because y'all got that cool energy. It could be you and another entrepreneur. It could be you and another mother that you meet, you know, something of that nature. Okay, but I definitely see um, see that the, the, the people that you're connecting with, they too have done the work and it's ripe, okay, for something uh, new to come in. All right, many of you guys are mothers with that fertility energy here. All right. Ooh, fertility pop right back out and gift. Some of you all may be finding out that you're with child, that you're having a baby here as well. This is also giving me uh, 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 that empress energy. This is giving me that mother energy. It's time to be, it's like you're mama bear. It's time to think about family life and children, okay? Is what I see here. Don't sacrifice your family for your career is what it says. So whatever it is that you do for work, okay, make sure that you, you also don't put that above your family life and your morals and your values is what I am getting. But I'm also getting you're birthing something. You're birthing something and it's a gift to you, but it's also a gift to the world. Who you are is a gift to the world, meaning, you know, whatever skill, talent, gift you have, all right, it's helping others. You will discover new talents that will lead to new opportunities. Use opportunities that arise. Again, people are coming in with certain type of opportunities for you. All right. You're not meant to work with and connect with everybody. So some of you guys are solo dolo. So uh, only messages apply for those who they apply for. Yeah, as I say that, limitations. You guys could be, uh, so with that, you guys could be um, on a, you guys could be, um, uh, doing certain things okay um and so therefore people they they want to connect with you they want to collaborate with you okay they um but spirit is saying also limit who you connect with limit who you work with so pretty much just use your discernment all right also don't have a caged mindset trust and believe that the universe is always providing don't have a, a limited uh, mindset when it comes to your money when it comes to uh things working in your favor when it comes you know it's like uh, dang, I need this to really, really work out the situation. And then boom, it works out. Have faith that it'll work out. It's not always about money, right? Um, also just within yourself, a lot of this is internal battles as well. You know, um, uh, uh, you're wanting to get over some type of thought pattern. You're wanting to get over some type of habit. You're wanting to get over something, uh, a relationship, right? Um, those things have nothing to do with money. Okay. And, and, and just knowing and trusting, okay. Removing the limits to know that hey, uh, I, I will get over this person. I will increase my finances. I will, you know, heal from any type of traumas and, and so forth that I have experienced. Okay. So remove any limitations that's keeping you back from growing and being in this limited energy. Uh, uh, use discernment to, to, to know um, who you have in your energy who will, um, I heard, hold you back or hold you down or take you down or it's, they're, they're, they're holding you back with this fertility and limitations here you are trying to or not trying you are here you are growing and birthing things into the universe okay and here you have uh limiting uh, people with limiting thoughts and so forth that are around you or that just are not helpful for you so again use your discernment with whatever you're doing whoever you're connecting um with and and so forth as well all right gift and then we have bright ideas. So again, something about a gift. That could be the surprise here too. The universe could be gifting you some type of surprise. I don't know what y'all, what's going on with y'all. I'm just reading the energy for you, right? 
But this bright ideas here, um, I definitely see you guys have a, um, a lot of new ideas. Okay, so put those ideas out there. All right. And don't care about what other people say about you or judge or if they want to judge you or whatever. That's them. Yeah, look, you got fast changes. Something is happening quick, very, very quickly. Okay, take bold step forwards. As you take steps forward, you're going to see how the universe responds to you. 1010 10 is on the phone, 1011. You're, you're going to see how the universe shows up for you, how the universe has not forgotten about you. But you just have to have faith when you say your prayers. You have to have, are you saying your prayers? You got to have faith when you're set, setting your intentions. Are you setting your intentions? Like, seriously, are you taking the time out? Are you just doing it, like, just doing it real quick and really not putting that time in? Well, if you're just doing it quick and ain't really putting the time in the real true intention, you know, setting time aside to really put that energy and that effort into it, then you're going to you're not going to really get the, the, the results that you desire because you're not really putting that that true, true energy into it. It doesn't matter the time, even if you only set aside five minutes, truly say, OK, put my phone away, you know, um, put put the kids and put put something on where the kids, you know, they can't bother me right for, for these five minutes or whatever, like you're really setting the intention to say, hey, I got to make sure I'm meditating. I got to make sure I, I do some automatic uh, scripting or writing for the next five minutes or something. Let me go in here and pray for five minutes. Let me go and do this or whatever. You give it, write something down, What journaling, whatever this is, right? Making sure um, that you really are putting in that work. Y'all know on this channel, all I talk about is putting in the work. You can have a soft life. Soft life don't mean that you still don't have to, you know, take action. What you going to do? Be lazy all day? Soft life don't mean lazy life. Come on now. So you definitely, you know, got to put it, put that work in is what I'm, what I'm getting uh, here for you. Okay. Let's see what else is here. What other messages are here? For whoever clicks on this video to help them with their personal self-development, to help them with self-mastery, with their self-concepts, okay, with their life, that whatever's going on in their life, I see setbacks. So some of you guys um, have been set back by life circumstances. Okay, you may feel like you take, um, uh, it says taking one step forward to make two steps back, but you guys may feel you take one step forward and 10 steps back or, you know, setbacks are telling you that you're not ready to enter the next phase. Again, that's that loop we be talking about on the channel. Tap in, book your personal development coaching down below. For my entrepreneurs or those that desire to start their your your business, okay, you guys can book your business startup sessions down below as well. But yeah, there's something that's like something unexpected could have happened that you didn't think that this was going to happen and it set you back like, dang, like what's going on here? But you have to speak your way out. You have to do the work to get out of it. You got to really, you got to really show some grit. And it's not grit out here hustling for the money grit. It's that grit on the intern, on the internal, on the inside of you. They can't say nothing about you because of who you are on the inside. Mother, I'm raw, 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 Rhapsody and Wayne. Okay, so if you're experiencing setbacks in your life, it's saying, hey, there's something that you're doing that's keeping you in this timeline that's not allowing you to transcend or ascend to the next to, to shift to that next timeline. You got a quantum shift, baby. Book your law of attraction and quantum shifting coaching down below. I told you I'm your spiritual advisor, law of attraction coach, your business coach. I do all the things. Click down below. But you definitely uh, experience some type of setback. Whether this is you're experiencing this now or whether this was recently, okay? Doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. I just said this to somebody the other day. I literally just had this conversation with somebody, okay? Look, it could be in business. This is the card that came out. So you could have had some business setbacks. Like I said, entrepreneurs, book your coaching down below. All right. If you're new to the channel, you can find out more about me in the description bar. But I am a certified life coach, like you heard before. But I also have my bachelor's in business management and I and accounting. And I also have my master's in psychology and organizational leadership. So, um, yeah, all the business things, everything business. OK, marketing, all of that. All right. Branding. OK, so if you're definitely if you're someone that's into business um, or you you. 
you're looking to start that, all right, or even your purpose coaching and so forth, book your sessions down below. Anyways, back to business, okay? Um, there is something with your business here. Uh, maybe you experienced some, some setbacks that had nothing to do with money, that had nothing to do with business, but Spirit is telling you, hey, what's going to help you with these biz with these setbacks is to start a business, okay? It could have been some type of financial setback since this is a money deck that we are using, but it also could have just been, you know, dang, you broke up with someone, so your emotions was off. You know, you could have still been getting some money or work was good or whatever. You ain't worried about that. You know, you ain't worried about your bills, but, you know, you all jacked up because of a relationship that you was in or whatever, and it could have just set you back emotionally, you know, or whatever the case is, but whatever, Spirit may be saying, hey, start a business, you know, best revenge is your paper, okay? It's like it's time to glow you up. It's time to put that focus on you, on your inner work, on your healing, on your business, on your household, on your self-concepts. There should be no time that you're saying you're bored, so to speak, for those of you that, that could be in that energy as well. There's always mirror work. There's always, uh, for my ladies, go put that makeup on. Go play in it, you know. Um, play with your with your, with your your wardrobe and, and uh, mismatch, you know, different outfits. And, you know, always, you know, quote, unquote, um, just, you know, uh, connecting with yourself in fun ways as well. Take yourself out on a date or um, whatever, you know, uh, dancing, you know, whatever. But... <clears throat> There's always something to do. Researching for your business. Get into the money. Because female bosses, they putting in that work. Even if they doing something they absolutely love, they still have to show up. And why is unfulfilled here? You're unfulfilled. I'm speaking to someone that's unfulfilled. Maybe you're too comfortable and spirit got you experiencing certain things to make you uncomfortable. Maybe some of you guys that have been seeking work, okay, or you're unfulfilled with work if you have work, all right? Maybe a uh, spirit is making you uncomfortable to start your own business. Like you ain't getting no jobs, they ain't hiring because spirit wants you on your own path, all right? So take it how it, re how it resonates, but there's definitely something that you're unfulfilled with. Some of you guys may be uncomfortable with money. You, you may not want to admit that, but a lot of people have a broke mindset and they don't even realize it and they wonder why they ain't got their money because you got to change your money mindset. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all got to book y'all coaching down below. Yeah, growth and laborer, you're growing in some type of uh, work that you do here. Yeah, your business here. I see some business growth for for this. So this is for those that do have a business or it's some type of side hustle. Okay, I see whatever work you're doing, it is growing. Okay, you have a lot of potential. Yeah, money manager at the office. So some of you guys could be working office jobs, corporate. Okay, or whatever you the office could be. You know. Um, you can work at Chick Fil A. You can. I don't, it doesn't matter where you work. You know. But the office is just you going to work. All right, and you managing your money, you getting manage the money that you're getting. Okay, it's like if you don't know how to manage what you're getting from, let's say if you do work at Chick Fil A, Starbucks, or whatever, if you don't know how to manage the money that you're getting from those positions, okay, or whatever money you already have, if you're not a steward of that, if you don't even know what to do with that, if you can't even save with the little that you have and manage what you have, spirit isn't going to bring more to you because you don't have money management skills here with this money manager. You need to activate your money management skills is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you can get the money, but what are you doing with it? Just knowing how to pay bills on time, it's more than that. Do you know how to grow your money? Do you, you know, is this a lot that it, that it comes with, with with having more money? Do you know how to save, you know? Um, are you familiar with certain uh, terminologies? And, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, for, for those that's really tapped into the money. I'm also getting like Forex and trading and so forth. Yeah, shift your mindset. Again, quantum shifting. Whatever you're doing is keeping you in a loop. You got to figure out what it is that's keeping you there and say, oh, okay, that's why meditation is important. Also coaching because they can see their professional should be, right? And they can see from, from uh, their life experiences and from uh, their any type of training that they may have had, you know, um, from an outer point of view, how to give you the proper advice and so forth, right? Um as a coach or as a spiritual advisor, you know, messages from uh, from the unseen world, okay, from, from spirits. Great spirit, what messages do you have here? Whoa. 
You're meant to be in a leadership position. That flew out. Yeah, look. You have a leadership position that you're in or you're being guided to be a leader. You're you're a business leader, okay? Look, I just told y'all my degree is in leadership. I'm a leader. I know I'm a leader, okay? But this message is for y'all. Y'all are leaders. I know I'm a leader, but do you know you a leader? I'm on here using my leadership skills. You feel me? But what are you doing for your leadership skills? Are you in position? Are you really taking action? But you're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be a boss, not a worker. So if you're working right now, okay, that's cool. You're still a boss, but you're meant to be in a boss position. You're meant to be the leader. You're meant to have a group or a crowd that you're stewarding, whether that's at a, a work position for some of you all, whether that's, you know, make sure that you're in some type of leadership or management position, you know. Um, I was talking to this girl. She's um, working at Taco Bell. Um um, but I was telling her if you go do, if you are gonna be in some type of position, you should focus on being a management position or whatever. And she was like, "Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm uh, doing, and and so forth." You know. So I was like, "That's perfect." You get what I'm saying? So I don't care what you're doing. Make sure you you're you're you're, you're in the leadership position because that's only gonna hone your skills as well. People doing what they got to do out here. No judgment, right? So whatever you got to do, however you got to get your money to keep yourself afloat, to keep yourself thriving, not even just afloat, because it's not just about being afloat unless that's the level you want to stay on. If that's the version of yourself that you want to continue to entertain, then go right ahead, my buddy, my dude, my boy, my girl. But for those of you all that really, truly want to shift out of that lack mindset and truly go above what you have been taught... And really get to the coin, really have money in your account. It's really about the inside of you and your worth and your value and what you're offering out. And sometimes that may have to start within a workplace or even if that's not where you want to be, you got to learn how to make the best of your situation because everybody got situations, money or not, that they wish that they could shift and change out of. It's not just always about money as well. People wishing they could shift out of heartbreak. People wishing they can shift out of depression. People wishing that they can shift out of just a whole lot of different situations. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you settling. Why are you settling for, though? What you settling for? Spirit says denial. No. If you settling, you're teaching your children to settle with this parenthood. No, you cannot settle. You got to go for your dreams. You got to go for your goals. You can't stop. You can't give up. You got to trust that it's working out. You have to have that mindset. Again, comment down below. Everything is always working in my favor. Why is everything always working in my favor? You have to really repeat these. Not just this one time when I'm when I'm saying, hey, share it down below. No, go throughout your day, all day, every day. I have. I keep showing y'all, but I have little um uh cards and index cards and stuff all around to keep me like every it's like okay i see this card i see this card i see that card wherever you get what i'm saying in the car in the bathroom on the mirrors on the you get what i'm saying all around always you remember mary jane that on bet with gabrielle union how she had the sticky notes everywhere i remember even way back then dang i was in arizona too um but um i had sticky notes like i had an entertainment center in my actual room like the real big old ones, you know, I had that. And so, I mean, over the whole big old thing, like from the edges was covered. You couldn't even see the edges because it was sticky notes that was surrounding the edges, you know, all the way around. You get what I'm saying? Because that's where, and my bed was in front of it. So I could always see it. That's when I was still watching TV and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah, but I was still watching stuff like that. You know, those, those type of shows. But at the end of the day, yeah, stop stop settling, okay? And you'll stop experiencing these, these, unex, these unexpected setbacks. You're experiencing these unexpected setbacks because that's what you think that you're going to keep getting. So that's why you keep getting it because it's like, see, I told you ain't nothing working. That's why ain't nothing working because of your mindset. But y'all ain't got to listen to me though. Y'all could be very sarcastic. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is here for whoever clicked onto this video? What else is here for whoever clicked onto this video? Abundance is here, I see. 
Yeah. Favor, blessings. It's like you're all you're always you're always favored by the universe. Everything is always going in your favor, like I just said. You're always blessed. Spirit says there is no rush. Take your time. You may be in a rush, but the universe isn't. You can't force it. You can't speed up the energy. You got to work with it, honey. What is this? Ah. Time for wine. Yeah, it's like kind of not go slow, but just, you know, just trust and believe that everything is on time. Take a leap of faith. It's like stressing about something ain't going to change it. It's only technically going to make it worse. So you got to learn how to not stress about certain situations. And you got to trust that it's always working in your favor. If you in a quote unquote stressful situation, if you see the situation as stressful, it's stressful. If you see it as a lesson or as a learning opportunity and you say, you know what? Okay. I'm not going to let the situation stress me. What lesson do I need to learn? And just allow you put it into the universe so trust that what you need to learn that aha moment will flow to you because you put it out there for whatever you're experiencing right so trust give it may not be that same day it may be immediately it just whenever the answers come it's going to come at the most unexpected time you could be like well good dang that's the lesson I'm supposed to be learning. You can be like, boom, and then you go be able to take off and excel out of the out of that circle that you've been in because you realize you have to know the lesson and what you're experiencing so you can elevate above it. It's about learning the lesson. So if you don't get the lesson, you're gonna keep being in it. Now, when you learn the lesson, you gotta apply it or take take action. Whatever it's telling you to do is gonna require probably letting go of something or probably whether it's a a, a mindset, whatever. You're going to have to change your routine up, do something different, get out of your comfort zone. So the universe, and it, I didn't even see what it is, but it's you got this. Spirit says you got this, right? Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying you can't be, I was looking to see if my phone was ringing. It sounded like my phone was ringing. It's like I'm, I'm hearing the phone ring. Um, so you could be getting a phone call, but it, my phone wasn't ringing, but you know. I was hearing it. So it's like, you know, you can also um, uh, maybe clear audience as well. You may hear things, okay, but it's not really taking place. But you have a spiritual ear. You have a spiritual sight. You may be, again, a seer or have many different um, uh, spiritual gifts. Again, like I said, um, and people may just kind of find you a little, you know, like, oh, okay. Or they, they know that you're very intuitive or it's like, dang, how did this person know that? Or, you know, something like this. But yeah, Spirit says you got this, whatever it is, these lessons that you out here learning. Okay, the self-mastery journey that you on because that's, that's what my readings is about. New ideas for money helping you to grow. We ain't focused on nobody else. You know, if it comes out, it comes out. But this is about you. And when you really focus in on you, who you are, you being so sufficient and, and you re reaching that enlightenment for yourself, you if you focus on that, you ain't even worried about nobody else, really. Because you too busy loving on you and focus on you. It doesn't mean you don't say, hey, you know, it'd be cool, nice if I met this person, if I had these friends or whatever the case may be. But you live in, you live in La Vida Loca where you at and what you doing. You enjoying life every day that you wake up. If you really on that, if you really on that self mastery journey doing that work, but you, you transcend and you know, it's like all them other people go float out. That way it can make, it's like I'm hearing the great clearing. It's like spirit is, has been doing a great clearing over your life. Some of you guys live off grid, you know, maybe you guys work and do all that type of stuff, but maybe you still off grid. People don't, you know, you don't talk to people. People don't know where you are type of thing. You don't get, you don't want them to know where you are. You, you know, you just like the, where you, you know, kind of being low key or something like that as well. But that don't mean you don't have a purpose to fulfill. But you may not, you, you still may, you know, be a leader but and connect with those that you're, you're meant to um, lead and so forth or whatever community that you have, you know, again, whether this is that when you go to work, you put that time in for, for them. But when you come home, it's, it's all about you. Or maybe you guys have an online group, how I do, you know, a community, right? Or maybe you guys do something in person, okay, like volunteer work that you guys are tapped in and associated with, whatever it is. Okay, um, it's helping you to elevate. It's helping you to grow. 
pretty much. But you got this. I was going to say something else, but I kind of lost my, tra my, my train of thought. But it's all good. But yeah, you guys, that's what I'm saying. But you guys still, you know, keep a low profile. Even if you're still, you know, a leader, you know, you do what you got to do, but you also, you know, kind of like work hard, play hard, but not everybody, you, you may go, you may have, you may uh, kind of party all the time or in a good fun way, but you may not post it at all. You don't post your life, but you, it don't mean you ain't living life. You know, you tell people what you want them to know. You may tell people kind of just surface uh, type of things that, that way they don't know your business because it ain't none of their business type of thing, you know. Let's see. But whatever you're doing, you know, Spirit says you got this. And then, yeah, look, because all eyes on you. You can't, it's like you get attention no matter what anyway. So it's like you might as well step into your purpose and who you are and what you're doing. Accept that you are who you are with this all eyes on you here. Yeah, blocks can't get through. It's like, again, it's like you you blocking out the energies that's not serving you, that's not healthy for you, that you're like, uh-uh, I'm good on that. Yeah, it's like garden here. You're growing a new garden. You're growing something different, something new. Let's see, what else is here? Get a few from here, and I'm going to close this down. Again, make sure y'all book your personal development readings down below in the description bar. Or you guys can book your business and entrepreneur Zoom sessions, your business startup and uh, marketing sessions, okay? Your phone readings, if that's something you're interested in as well, all right? Um, and the other services that I do offer down below in the description bar, like the Law of Attraction and quantum shifting, okay? We have moon. So um, something about your moon sign, look at what your moon sign is, okay? And tap into that energy is what I'm picking up on you. Yeah, I'm getting like brick walls. So this is nothing on it. This side is nothing on it. This has nothing on it. This has nothing on it. Okay, so the end is here. Yeah, you're undefeated with your craft, with what you do. Uh, I feel like you guys have been manifesting, putting things out into the universe and you're seeing it come back to you. Because of your belief, if you're putting things out there and you're not seeing it come back to you, that means you don't have the correct belief or you still have a, a limiting mindset in regards to what you are manifesting. We have Yoni Steam. Okay, so my ladies, uh, some of you all may uh, get your regular Yoni Steams. It may be that time of the month for you all, okay, as well. And, or some of you guys may be, um, you know, uh, getting your, you know, just all your feminine care and so forth as well. Keeping up with your beauty care. Yeah, you're this influencer. You could be someone to sell um, the sell uh, steams and, and so forth or um, any type of uh, personal care for women. Okay, any vaginal type of care or, you know, oils or, or anything like that. Yeah, I see 30 days, Proverbs 31 woman. So over the next 30 days, you guys may, you know, put some type of new um, routine into play that puts you into that energy of a Proverbs 31 woman, whatever that may be for you. Okay, you may say, okay, every day I'm going to get up and... Um, I'm going I'm to say my affirmations as soon as I get up or every day I get up, I'm going to do this and this and this and then I'm going to do this or you're, you're putting something uh, in, into play, into action to, to help you be in the energy that you desire to be in, whatever energy that is. It may not necessarily be Proverbs 31 woman energy. It may be... Um, and even that's that Proverbs 31 woman energy, even if you don't have a spouse, right? Or even if that's not something you're seeking at this time, just being someone that's about her business, right? Someone that handles her household. You may get a new house uh, over the next 30 days. You may say, okay, I'm going to get a new routine for my for me and my children and, and our household and how we operate, whatever it is, okay, um, that you're putting in for the next 30 days um, as a Proverbs 31 woman, not necessarily just always focusing in on the spouse part, right? But also again look faith but that next 30 days may you be putting in some type of new routine to help your mindset to help overcome some type of uh habit that you have okay uh and that could be you know uh you waking up every day and you turning on your instagram it's like dang you didn't even you know give thanks for opening your eyes or give a give a gratitude uh, express gratitude before you you know turned on your your instagram so that could be a bad habit your bad habits is what's determining your life 
lifestyle or your habits in general, bad or, and ain't no bad or good. They're just what it is, right? But your habits is what's determining what you're manifesting. So you keep saying, oh, I'm manifesting money. I'm manifesting money. Okay, well, your habits show otherwise because your habits of just waking up and getting on the gram or getting on Twitter or your habits of waking up and doing this or throughout the day you're doing this or whatever, you know, you say that, hey, I'm focused on manifesting the spouse, but your habits are showing that you ain't in that Proverbs 31 energy, you still out doing certain things or your mindset isn't ready and prepared, then you ain't doing the work to prepare. So whatever it is that you desire, you got to have faith for it. Yeah, but you also got to put in that, that energy to make sure you are embodying that version of yourself that has that actual thing. Book your law of attraction and quantum shifting coaching down below. Okay, let's get one more so I can close this down. Yeah, you're unfuckwittable. Yeah, also something about your sun and moon sign, possibly your rising, but definitely something about your sun and moon. I'm talking to my ladies with the sacred woman energy. You're very sacred, especially with your Yoni steam spirit. It says, keep your lit. Ooh, ooh, I'm hearing Nimi. I don't judge, but y'all already know what I'm about to say. Keep your legs closed to married men. That's what I heard. Many people have been there. I've been there. So I ain't judging nobody. I didn't know the dude was married. A lot of times that's how it be. But sometimes if you do know, uh, you if you continue in, then that's it's, eh, what you're doing. You got to love yourself more. I'm, I'm hitting on that hard stuff. This could be for somebody. You got to let it go. Keep your, and even if it's just not that, just keep your legs closed. You a sacred woman. Yoni Steen. It's like, you get what I'm saying? Especially for how I just said, if those of you guys that are actually preparing for being in a, a union, in a relationship, in a long-term connection, okay? Know that you are sacred, you know? It's like, keep keep your yoni sacred, your, your whole body. Not just your yoni, but your whole body, your energy. Don't even let people in your energy. Don't even get it because your phone number. If, if it ain't really what it is that you desire. Yeah, something, something about a social group, networking, okay? Something supernatural, overflow, a supernatural uh, overflow of abundance is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you have a supernatural overflow of abundance, and I just saw a gift. So definitely gift energy is here. You are your own gift. You are a gift to society. You are a gift as a leader. Ooh, we got marriage that pops out. Someone sees you as sacred. Someone knows that you're sacred, Someone knows that you're sacred. It's different people, different levels watching. Book your personals down below. Someone knows you're sacred and they want to put a ring on it. They want to marry you. They want a long-term relationship or connection. All things are possible for she who believes. So I'm going to leave this message here. Ashe, the general energy here is get ready for these fast changes. Stay in the sacred energy no matter who you are watching, okay? Um, there's definitely uh, people that are attracted to you and definitely see you um, as long-term material. But overall, keep the faith. Keep the faith in who you are, what you're doing, what you're becoming. Keep the faith in the choices and the decisions that you're making. With this moon energy, there could be something that's behind the scenes that you do not see um, taking place. So uh, pay attention for things being revealed in your life or the things that are within yourself. Okay, that high priestess energy, the, that Pisces energy, that energy that is within yourself, that water holding all of the Akashic records, holding all of that information that goes deep like the deep blue ocean, that water, Mami Wata, is hidden. You got to bring it up out to the surface. You got to deal with it, whatever it is. That way you can get off these cycles and, and step into the, the, the reality that you truly, truly desire. Claim right now that you are on your, that you are already on your highest timeline, living your best life ever, living your dreams right now. You are whatever you desire to be. I heard nurse. Some of you guys could be in school for nursing or you guys want to go to school for nursing, whatever. But I heard you are that nurse is what I heard. You guys can be nursing the situation back to health as well. Your own situation or whatever. But you are, you know, the person with the material things. But you are the, the person that has the, the, the certain um, uh, image about yourself. The way you view yourself. The way that you feel about yourself on the inside. Okay. And how you show up. Okay. And that's influencing other people. That's why you're the leader. 
follow the follow the leader but yeah tap into this supernatural overflow of abundance is what i am getting and what's not for you take a breath take a a breath away from it take a break from it Okay, even for the 30 days, maybe 30 days, you need to, you know, take a break from something, maybe watching TV. Okay, look step by step. All right, or whatever you got to do. Everybody's different. But yeah, blocks and can't get through. Leave that, leave that energy uh, where it's at, okay? Ashe, you all can book your personal readings, your business and entrepreneur coaching, your law of attraction and quantum shifting coaching, all right? Your one-on-one -on -one phone readings or your audio readings or other services that are offered down below in the description bar. You all can also subscribe to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, um, hit that like button. And baby, I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.